Okay, welcome back to How to Google. We are going to do a quick video on the Google Drive or how to share a document with someone. Uh, so we have logged into our account and we went to Drive. And the way you do that is up here there's a little tile and you can go to all of your uh, different Google applications. So we go to Drive and it was starting off with this demo because it's the first time we've used this account. So you can see it gives us the 15 gigs of storage, everything's accessible, easily organized, uh, all that stuff. There's a quick intro video as well. So we're going to go take me to the drive and what we're going to do here is uh, here you can see we opened up that folder and there's nothing there. So we're going to create a new folder and for this video we're going to call it the test folder. So now we have a folder there and you can actually change the way you view these things. Currently it looks like we're viewing a pane uh, and we can view them as a, or, uh, tiles and we can view them as tiles or a list. So here I prefer the list view so I just change that up and change it to list view. Now in the test folder I'm going to add a new document uh, Google Docs right here. We'll cover some of that in another video. Templates now. Here we're going to name it a test document. And the nice thing about Google, you'll see it's saving right now, is that it automatically saves all your changes. So we can go up here and close out of this, and that document's already there. It's already saved for us. So if we go back to our drive, and then we click our test folder here, we see that we're in the drive, the test folder, and then we've got this test document. So the way that you're going to share a document with someone else, you're going to select it and go up here and you're going to see this share button. So you'll click the share and it pops up the sharing window. So from here, you're going to select what they can do. And if you want people to only be able to view it, not necessarily edit your work, you're going to want to make sure you change that so that they can do, uh, you, you adjust their permissions here. So I just want to be able to share it with someone so that they can view it. And we're going to share it with my other email address here. You can send them a note because it's going to send them an email letting them know that you've shared this document with them. So here's a test shared document. And go ahead and hit send. So now that document is shared and what's changed is up here you'll see a uh, little picture of people so that kind of is indicating to you that it is shared. Another thing you can do is you can share an entire folder with someone uh, or you can share just single documents in that folder. So here we're going to give an example of that. Uh, we're going to add a new, we'll do a Google Sheet this time. And this is a test sheet. And it's been saved. You can see that up here. So we're going to click out of that. So now we can see that this test document is shared, but this test sharing spreadsheet is not shared. Now, if I go to my test folder, I can also share on a uh, folder level. So I've selected that and now I can share this entire folder with uh, well, let's use another one. We'll use Mike. And we're going to allow Mike to edit. So we're going to send him a note. Okay, so now here you can see that this folder is shared uh, right there. And you can edit this the same way by clicking on these sharing icons. And you have to click the advanced thing so you can see who can view it, who can edit it, etc.